Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. This is part of a series on sketch basics. On this one, we're going to learn how to use artboards, uh, how important they are and how to uh, arrange them to tell a story and also how to resize them and do a, call, a, a lot of cool things like name them in them and arrange them and group them and align them and all that cool stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that I want you to do is to see artboards as the screens of your app like each screen could be a state or an interaction of your flow. Uh, and that means that every artboard is a step or is a, it, it, it is part of a story. And you can do this uh, pretty easily when uh, you are reading artboards from left to right. So for example, here in this example that I have, I have different artboards and all of these artboards are part of the same flow. And for example, I start first with the splash screen and here I can see the different the first three different states of the splash screen after I get started I see the uh, sign up flow the first the two steps are just like uh, when it's placeholders and when uh, the input the information is, has been inputted and also a success I could probably even add more artboards that is uh, probably an error state I could do that just by adding another artboard here I duplicate in the other one and I could probably add an error say here let's add it right, right away error Boom. And that way, see how I put it in, in, in the middle? I put it in the middle because this is something that is pretty much part of this flow. It's still not a, a part of the success. That's why I put it here. And I could, something that, I, that is pretty cool, I can just rename this to sign up uh, error, for example. You can just pretty much, just as a layer, you can move artboards. You can align them. For example, if I were to move it around here and I want to align it to this, I can just select it and then align it to the top. And I can also distribute uh, uh, evenly between them. And that's pretty much it. Also, something really cool about artworks is that you can resize them. So, for example, if I select multiple, I can resize them. Sometimes you need a, a scrollable area, so something that is a, a vertical a scroll. So you can do that with your artboards too. They're not fixed to one size. Something that you want to know about artboards is that anything that is inside the artboard but is outside the canvas of the artboard, sorry, the, uh, the, the edges of the artboard, it will, the overflow will be hidden. That way you're not confused and you always only see what is inside the artboard, what is inside the screen. As long as you're, you move your art, artboard outside, uh, your, sorry, your layers outside the artboard, then you will be able to see them. And over here you will see that they're not inside the artboard anymore in your layers list. As you can see here, they are outside the artboards. And as soon as I put that layer inside, then the overflow gets hidden, and now it's part of the splash one. As you can see, now that layer gets inside there. So that's a, that's a cool thing that, that you need to keep in mind too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, again, our artboards will help you tell a story going from left to right and from top to bottom, and it will they will help you also try different things and experiment, and they work pretty much in, in a lot of ways like a layer. Also, you can add or change a color of an artboard. So for example, here, I can add a color, by default, it gives you white, and you can change it to a gray, for example, F4, 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 and, or you can change the color. For example, here, this green, I'm going to turn it blue, and you can do that easily, and you can include it in your export. And what I mean with export is that you can make the actual artboard exportable here as any other layer. So you can make it exportable, you can change the uh, the resolution or the, uh, or the format, and you can add multiple resolutions too. And then once you are ready, you can export it here. And for example, here I'm going to export it to my downloads. I'm going to export it to 2x, success. And then if I go to my files, I see it there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the things that you can do with your artworks. Uh, and if you use them in a uh, in a good way, you will be able to tell a story with them, uh, or at least show a flow of your app or your uh, web uh, product. So yeah, that's it.